Welcome everyone to a new video tutorial um, about QGIS and in this one I would like to show you how to add features or shapefiles to your project and how to combine a, a shapefile with some text information you may have acquired from some other data uh, provider. So how to do that? Adding a shapefile is really easy so first of all you can use this add vector layer button but there is of course the possibility to go over the layer and you would like to add a new vector layer so stick with that. So what we will do is the source type is a file not a directory or database or something like that the encoding of the file default is UTF-8 so you can choose that as well and just click on open there you have the open dialog mm, the default file type is I think as a shape file so if you're choosing that you will only see the possible file to add, uh, which is a shape, as HP in this case. So we'll click on open and say open again. So this is a shape file. It is a shape file about the county counties in Germany, and I would like to inf um, combine the information of the counties with the numbers of um, insolvencies in that counties of the year 2011. So how to do that? First of all, you need the in information, and I've got this information from the Federal um, Statistics Office called DStatis. And um, once more, you will need uh, you will need some kind of a bridge from the shape file to the line in the CSV. So there's something like an index or a number or a name in both of these data sets you can join with each other or so you can connect these both data sets on. So, um, but how, first question is how to get the text information in your project. Well, it's a little bit tricky in this case so there's a possibility to add the limited text layer but um, this function just ask you to um, import a text file which has some information about the X and Y location on the map but in our case this is just the statistics so you have a county name and you have the number of, of insolvencies in that county of the year so it is I know it is very strange to add to choose add vector layer but stick with me that in that so there's a source and the source of it is my text file. So um, just change the file type to all files and there it is. So you can download it from our website digitalgeography.com. It is a CSV. We'll click and open. Click and open again and let's have a look at it. So we'll open the attribute table and you can see it's a little bit strange because you have that special characters in the German language. So if you are choosing a system uh, it will get to know these. Um, there you have a name ID, a field number, um, which is the overall um, insolvencies numbers. Then you have solvency proceedings. I think this is uh, total or something like that. Then you have the accepted and non-accepted and so on. So, um, but what is what is important about that is that you have in this table you have a column called ID. Let's go back to that open attribute table. There's the ID. So you have here the ID is 011001 for the city of Flensburg. And let's have a look in the shape file. Go into the attribute table. You have also an, uh, an ID field. But um, let's sort with that. So there is no ID 01 001. But let's have a look in the AGS. There it is. This is our Flensburg city. Oh no. And you have here the city of Flensburg. So um, this is a bridge between both of the data sets. So how to combine that? Just right click on the on the shape file, go on the properties, and there you have a joins field. Click on plus and you would like to join with this layer and the joining field is the ID. The target field is AGS. So the target field is the field in the shape file. The join field is the corresponding field in the text file. 
So click on OK. Once again, either on Apply on OK, you can also click on OK with one button click. So, um, was it good what we have done? Let's have a look. Yeah, great connection here. Um, so you have both information in the attribute table of the shapefile. Now, what is the second step? Mostly, you would like to visualize the information of the text file um, with the shape of, in our, our case, the county. So how to how to do that is um, not that easy because you have to make sure what is the uh, what is the um, attribute type of the um, of the information. So let's click on the layer properties and go to fields. First of all, have a look here. So you, you have the ID that is real, a real number. Then you have the version, which is real as well. But everything else is string. But the depth, of course, isn't string value. The number of employees in the in the companies of uh, that are going into insolvency isn't string as well. But due to the fact that we have just joined these both information, and Qgis doesn't have any clue about the information or the the field type or the the uh, encoding of of the information, they just all put it together into string. But how to, how we can change that very easily. So how to do that is just close it and go into editing mode for this layer. So now everything is red, a little strange, but right click once again and go to the attribute table because we would like to change the attributes. Oh no, we don't would like to change the attributes, we would like to create a new one. And what, how to do that is to use the field calculator. We would like to create a new field called depth, maybe say it real. So um, the output field type is real and um, we would like to choose depth to real and type your depth. So we would like to create real numbers from the information that is in the field depth. Just click on OK. There we are. And now we have the real numbers. So you see text information is left-sided, real numbers are right-sided. And how to do that now to um, to visualize information? First of all, uh, we will um, save the information we have just created and go into properties again and go on style. So um, the normal visualization is single symbol. So what is the shape of it? But we would like to gradiate our information of the depth number. So now you can choose every field that is stated as real number um, to be visualized. So we have our field depth real and not depth. So choose that. And we would like to use another color ramp. Um, I would say red, yellow, green. And click on classify. Classes is 10. Oh, the color. The color ramp isn't that great. You would like to. Normally, I would like to go from green to red, but we can stick with that now. Is there something possibility? No, we will stick with that. Okay. Maybe this. Just to have shallow red for the lower values and thick red for the highest values. Just click on Apply and on OK. And there we are. So we now have an information about the um, depth of the of the companies that are going into insolvency for the year 2011 in Germany. So just right click and say Save As, not toggling, toggle editing mode. No, we don't look like to do that. Just click on Save As and save it as a new information. So these are the counties. Euro, 
insolvency. Click on save and on OK. There you go. So that's it for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Visit digitalgeography.com with or digital minus geography.com uh, for further information. We are also searching for authors. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.